Support RealCatholicTV.com, spread the faith, and buy great Christmas presents for your family and friends all at the same time. Visit the RealCatholicTV.com shop for copies of our premium programs. Learn more about your faith with great videos such as The One True Faith or St. Michael's Basic Training. Be strengthened with talks by powerful speakers such as Michael Voris, Father Edward Perone, and Dr. Robert Fastigi. As well as DVDs, CDs, books, and more, you can also buy gift subscriptions to RealCatholicTV.com. Know someone who would enjoy RealCatholicTV.com? We'll buy a subscription for them. It's quick and it's easy. Hello and welcome to today's edition of Catholic News Roundup. I'm Vic Faust. First up today, hate crimes legislation is on its way to Obama for his signature. Last week's passage by the U.S. Senate of hate crimes legislation now completes years of strategy on the part of homosexualists in Congress. Now, the bill bans any sort of speech against homosexuals, which might be interpreted to cause violence toward the group. Obama is expected to sign the bill into law in the next few weeks. Following last week's massive two million person pro-life rally in Madrid, Spain, a new poll is out, which reveals a great divide between Spain's socialist leaders and the general population. Nearly 60% of Spaniards are against allowing minors getting abortion without their parents' consent. The socialist government is attempting to revise the national law and allow girls of any age to abort their children without their parents' consent or knowledge. The poll also showed that 60% are against abortion in all or nearly all cases. Well, how about this? Columnist Maureen Dowd in Sunday's New York Times has weighed in on the Vatican investigation now taking place into the state of American nuns. At one point, Miss Dowd, a feminist well known for her radically liberal views, says in her article, quote, the point of the Vatican Inquisition is to herd them back into their old fashioned habits and convents and curb any speck of modernity or independence, end quote. What Dowd fails to mention is the actual point of the investigation is to learn why religious vocations among women have dropped a whopping 66% in the past four decades and 90% of all U.S. nuns are over 60. Of course, faithful Catholics in the U.S. already know the answer to that question. All right, stay with us. We'll be back in just a few seconds. Catholic News Roundup is brought to you in part by PewSitter.com, your online Catholic newspaper for the third millennium. CatholicMediaCoalition.org, in line with the church, online with the world. CatholicUnderground.com, the podcast about our Catholic faith and new media. And DFWCatholic.org, spreading the truth one city at a time. Runners in Mississippi who had pledged funds for the Susan G. Komen Race for the Cure got their money back after learning that the Breast Cancer Research Group has made donations to the Planned Parenthood abortion business and denies the abortion breast cancer link. A large group of Mississippi homeschoolers and their parents who frequently run for charitable causes signed up for the Komen race. But after learning that Komen chapters gave more than $700,000 to Planned Parenthood in one year alone, they backed out and asked for a refund. <laughs> And finally today, a new poll has pro-abortion President Barack Obama leading all four of the potential Republican presidential candidates he may face in a 2012 re-election bid. Public policy polling finds Obama with a 47 to 43 percent lead over Huckabee, the pro-life former Arkansas governor, with 10 percent undecided. Against Mitt Romney, the former Massachusetts governor who campaigned as a pro-life candidate, Obama holds a 48 to 40 percent lead with 12% undecided. Obama has a larger lead over former Alaska Governor Sarah Palin, 52 to 40%, with 8% of voters undecided. The pro-abortion president holds his largest lead over current Minnesota Governor Tim Pawlenty, although the pro-life advocate is the least known of the bunch. Obama leads him 50 to 30%, with 20% undecided. I'm Vic Faust. Thanks so much for tuning in, and be sure to come back tomorrow for your daily dose of the Catholic News Roundup right here on realcatholictv.com. And as always, be sure to check out the Vortex today where Michael Voris weighs in on all things Catholic. That's it for now. Thanks for tuning in. Be sure and tell your friends about us. As always, God bless. Catholic News Roundup is brought to you in part by 
NewOxfordReview.org, the voice of Catholic Orthodoxy, in print and on the web. And RenewAmerica.com, expanding the influence of America's grassroots in the cause of freedom. And TheAmericanCatholic.com, politics and culture from a Catholic perspective.